So, what are you guys going to do about your genetic bottlenecks, humans? Homo sapiens? Be more specific. Sitting down here with my nuclear mutant friends and uh, generational, some of them. Just kind of beckons me to answer. <clears throat> Ask that question. We're back at 40x optical zoom from yesterday. With lighting conditions even a little less, so you can see the difference. Of course, twice the pixel area at 40 zoom than at 80, or more or less. So that's not bad from a well, about four hundred dollars worth of camera right now. Well, three hundred if you could still get them, because this is an older model, right? Obsolete and poorly supported. But when it was new, right now about four hundred dollars worth of camera would get you this. The major thing is, is your imager memory is cheap to add, but do you have a low light imager like most of the 500 and up Sony's do? And this is a JVC with low lux, they call it. Lux being a measure like lumens. the duck song. So, I mean, somebody had to say it. Amongst this murmur of, <gasps> genetic purity, genetic purity, which in fact is like saying early extinction through genetic bottlenecking. As I said before, there's nothing wrong with keeping a pure stock, whether it's your string beans or your marijuana or your ducks or your chicken or your or yourself but uh, genetic diversity is infinitely more important than What's that tort law term? Purity? <laughs> well, you mean like 100% pure gold as opposed to 1% with 99% tungsten inside? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of like that. Just, just very much kind of like that, as I touched on before. A lot of the belief systems were about land ownership and transference land being the major the possession to end all possessions okay okay we know that's horse hockey because you can't take it with you data you can <coughs> with enough of it you can even avoid an extinction and go star tracking if you have when you have to not if when assuming you live long enough and get past that self-extinction hump. That's where you're clever enough to save yourself from some natural challenges. 
but not yet wise enough. Because you still think of terminally competitive, nonsensical terms like genetic purity. I'm special. I'm worth more. I'm special. Mine's more important than theirs. Genetic parity. Oh, like, what, 100% gold? <sighs> oh, fuck. So I'm not making light of your xenophobia because it, it, it's real serious. It's not only caused you to extinct other species, variants of your own species, very important strands of genoline that you needed to you know, survive another thousand years even. Elsewhere, you're not going to survive on my earth. Nothing is. Not even a wee who can't leave. We have fallen back. <sighs> 200 and growing. <clears throat> but there's still that hope that we can get you talking monkeys to the point where you can at least get some of your genetics off with the rest of the crits. And in our long, long struggle of 80 millennium, that won't have been for naught. And if you think living as a conscious entity supported in a fucking machine, in stellar space is divine or desirable especially when what you got to view is sometimes very very <clears throat> you got no fucking clue it's telling you like it is which is one of the first things you learn in, sur in surviving life sur sur serving life Got the birds helping. All the ducks are going for one more flap. They're hoping to catch a thermal up to the higher layer. They have so many different um, sorties, because that's really what they are, and they decide them as they unfold. Just like a pack of dogs. Yes, bear, thank you. Just, just like a pack of pooches. We're the one with the uh, most prominent, bestest idea for the moment. That's the only, the big, the closest thing they come to a leader. <laughs> oh, my sweet buddy. Left it there. Oh. Oh, whoa. Ah, I'm getting some pair of cuddles. Well, I was totally. The camera on okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You guys don't act any. No more acting. I got it. You haven't been paid for the first stuff. Two and a half years worth? Yeah. Don't blame you. Too, too bad. Life Unlimited Productions. <clears throat> but I'll take it through to the 2000. Having turned down uh, 3.22 million from Googleplex. <sighs> Just to stall it out, and I decided to go for a thousand in an example and get a few more loose ends tied up. And well, we've, we've touched on the genetic bottle one again. There we go. I was hoping that I'd share this with you. I think they're coming in for a landing. Uh, having made it up, they decide, no, nah, fuck, this is the best place. <laughs> Let's hunker down here for the night. These aren't the, the ones that live here, right? But these are just migrating ducks like but we'll leave that for the next time I turn the camera on maybe we'll go back to terraforming farmers and well, getting you fuck sticks the fuck off of my earth before it implodes and um, goes singularity and you know, wait ahead of schedule thanks to you fuck nuts but hey who stopped Jay 
who threw lightning bolt down at you and said, No! Don't do that, bad talking monkeys! Well, I wasn't back yet, so it wasn't me. Nobody did. Do I know why for certainty? Not yet, but just enough time, you know, I'll figure it out. That's kind of what I do. That's. What is it the old English expression said about the word Clinton? Hey, peace out, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the ducks. Remember, always being mindful in being fruitful and multiplying. Okay, no, I'm not hitting up on anyone. I'm, I'm fucked. I'm the last of my kind, and I don't think it's without a whole lot of resources. I don't think it's wise for me to even try to make more of me. Even if a few generations survived, it would be horrendous. There's still hope for your geno line, your variety. Hey. Well, I guess the proof's in the pudding, as they say. So if you don't try, I guess that pretty well answers that question there. That's okay. That's why somewhere or another, somebody slipped in that meme about an afterlife, and and that's good enough for you. And well, I guess that's some sick bastard's idea of a. Throwing a wrench into the genetic pool and memeing you into extinction, but you know. If you want to go to heaven and migrate and escape extinction, you build a fucking spaceship. I don't know how much help I could give you without making you kill yourselves quicker and everything else along with you, which is, you know, the real unspeakable. You fuckers, you be the. Abominations of desolation. Not me. No fucking way. Not being the last of my kind with going out with that. I think that'd be on my fucking uh, genetic marker. <coughs> Which has been overly nuked, so, you know, including when I came back in 58. What do you guys call it? Teak? Mm. Swooping in, figuring, oh no, another lackey is being sacrificed to orbit to burn up in the thermosphere. What the fuck is that about? Quick, go the safer. Oh no, the engines are faltering. Oh no. Oh no, it's actually a nuclear bomb. They're detonating it on you. Even ahead of perigee. Mm. Yeah, that's what you get for. Snap operations, eh? We was just sucking up helium-3 on the moon one day, and we heard it. Dogs say, hey, hey! I ain't going in that thing! What are you, fucking nuts? You going that, you fucking talking monkey! Hey. And then Kia's... Lucky has two companions later. Other fuckers, but if you're willing to learn from it, I mean, like I said, the dogs need your help, you stupid fucks. Maybe that's why they, I don't know how they possibly could have had the wisdom to, to figure that one out 8,000 years ago. <laughs> they said, No, 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 we want to keep the mutants. What was left in hibernation stayed in hibernation underground in the freezers and what well, left for other places, I guess left. I don't know. Okay, here, yeah, I might as well. I got this thing running. Sure, we'll shoot the shit with you. Uh, because somebody was uh, asking or wondering about it. Well, basically, when the last major Ragnarok rolled in, unbeknownst to us, because <clears throat> we were still learning. After 80,000, well, 48,000 years of trying to deal with what happened three 
million years ago and <clears throat> came our way 80,000 some odd years ago, well, Toba time. And, uh, couldn't get back in. Couldn't get into the inner plaza. So, uh, away we went. We went to Buddhist Epsilon uh, system. That had gone uninhabitable for life a long time ago, and uh, we went to get your get some appliances to help you. The Owen Sears. Urban stairs, of course. So, anyhow, I got back in. Well, began to. I mean, we had to do a drift there. So you gotta kinda orbit your way in like a comet. I guess I entered the uh, one light year astrosphere, uh, the bubbly frost the first time. <laughs> well, about 2300 years ago. We slowly dispersed and repositioned ourselves and carried on. And apparently, on our way back, uh, we were intercepted. And who knows what was taken besides data? And it wasn't the dog on. But they became aware of it and exploit the situation. The looks of things. And there was DNA theft on the uh, life course. Hey guys, no, come on, guys, stay out of the mud there. years since I began to get into near orbit. I was rather elliptical. There you guys. You just if I can prove that you make peace, the rest will come and help. I'll give you all kinds of knowledge and data. You actually have a chance. You might even get some real hardware out of the deal. Doing our best to give you the demo on uh, Mars. Come, what did I figure it out about November uh, 17th? I think here it is. Yeah, 2014. But we'll, we'll see how that little demo on Mars goes for you. See so you now you're all staked out and watching there. And um, well, then you'll know, eh? Not really. I don't know what else to tell you is you got to balance yourselves. Your male and females is that way out of balance. <clears throat> Stupid pricks are acting like a bunch of fucking uranium poisoned cavemen trying to beat each other over the head. The wisest of them trying to get the biggest club but not much else. Destroying wealth Collective wealth, individual wealth, right and left. Preventing one another from having it so the whole has less. Yeah, fucking pretty, pretty illogical. And you've had help. You know, 
basically your sociopathic species. Collectively speaking, we've got beasts called corporations that have more power than any individual and not the accountability of a baby. And yet some sort of magic resurrection ability where instantly their dust is turned into a fortune somewhere else <clears throat> so they don't really actually die it just looks like it. a straw man just kind of blows in the wind and then reassembles a few feet away <sighs> well, they still haven't landed I don't know if I can catch that we'll try probably not it's, it's very low lake conditions Well, we're kind of in sunset here, eh? It's about four, quarter to five. Yeah, 17, 17. Wednesday, February. Ooh. Maybe the seventh. Bear with me, we're going to try for some more eagle. If it's not too dark. Well, anyhow, you guys decide. <clears throat> I can see uh, the existing, there's there's no, no hope. No hope whatsoever. You got to change things. Uh, I would suggest maybe if you're not too doped up on hormones and programming and EMF poisoning and radiologicals and stuff, girls, I would suggest you uh, drop your ovaries on the outside and get in there and grab your men by the cocks and say, Smarten the fuck up! Here, here's the maternal instinct! Start serving life, you fucker! You know, if you gotta, you know, sit on their face or whatever. until they kind of run out of breath and then tell them. I don't think it's God speaking to them or something. Being muffled by the pussy monster. Oh, I remember that. That's that's how I came out of one of those. I remember this feeling. <laughs> but no, I'm going in.